What is up members of my collector core? It is I, Super Mario Zilla, or you could call me Vinny, and today we will be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Elden Ring Festering Fingerprint Vike. After Elden Ring's success, Bandai announced that a figure arts Elden Ring figure would come into fruition, revealed to be festering fingerprint Vike. So Elden Ring fans were in for a treat. Vike clocks in at an MSRP of around $75 which, I won't lie, does seem a bit steep, and not just for me, other collectors were also mixed on that. But despite the high price, did Bandai deliver? Well, let's find out. Vike looks wonderful. I honestly can't name anything wrong with the sculpt or paint. The paint is eye candy for me. The blending, the colors, mwah, chef's kiss, and the detail put into the armor is well done. All the wrinkle and dented and scratched up details really make the sculpt pop, and the paint complements the sculpt with great shading that helps make the look of the figure pop on the shelf as well. The cape makes a nice contrast. I know it's not meant to blend in with the armor, but the way it stands out from him, something about it just works. Works to make it look good. The sculpt of the cape is well done and does feature black shading, and my favorite part being the tatters of it at the end. Makes it look like it's been through quite a lot. I know I sound like a broken record saying this, but the sculpt and paint work is absolutely something to gush over, and the choice of colors were solid choices in my opinion. I don't mean to oversell this, but it's something I can't help. It's well done. Overall, Vike is a fantastic looking piece, and I couldn't be happier with the result. So Vike does sport some pretty solid articulation for figure arts. Uh, just some stuff you had, you had to keep in mind when uh, posing him, because I also... Had an awkward time fiddling with them when I first got them. So, let's go over it. Head is on a ball joint. Just a little bit. He can swivel, looks at his side, although, you know, the scarf is in the way. However, he does have a giant old hinge to move his head more forward and move his head more backward. So, it's pretty cool. And obviously, it's hidden thanks to his, his uh, cape right here. So, pretty cool. Uh, so, thank you for that, uh, Bandai. Uh, shoulder is on um, a hinge. Uh, there's also a ball joint on the pad itself. To, to get it out of the way. So, his shoulder right here can hinge just about this far. Which is uh, not a lot. For the other sh shoulder, he can hinge way more than 90 degrees. And... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my left arm is a little bit uh, loosey-goosey on the bicep. Ball jointed movement, b butterfly joint movement, the works. And of course, as you saw, it is on a swivel, the bicep. Double hinged elbows, way more than 90 degrees, and ball hinged wrists. There is articulation here in the waist. He can't exactly crunch forward all the way. This is about, I think, as... I think that this is about as far as he could get. And backward, about as far as he could get. So it's not a lot. There's just a tiny, 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 tiny bit, bit of pull down at the leg. But he can kick forward just about this much. And he can kick backward just about this much. Splits. Uh... Uh, looks like he can't really do the complete splits, but mostly. Thighs can swivel. Double hinged knees. More than 90 degrees. That's pretty good. And swivel hinged ankles. Can kick them back this far back, this far forward. And we have ankle rocker, which is... Uh, it's not the best, but for the poses you'll probably get them into, it does get the job done. And toes on a hinge. So Vike's articulation is, it's not exactly top of the line figure arts articulation in my opinion, but for the stuff that you'll probably get him doing anyway, it's definitely uh, solid and acceptable. And they did everything they could, especially for the head uh, design right here. 
because obviously the cl- the cape would have gotten in the way. So they did everything that they, they could here. So yeah, it's, it's possible to get them into some poses. Just don't expect them to do uh, too couldn't too much of the crazy stuff. So Vike doesn't include the most accessories, but what they included is fine and everything he would need. For the hands, he comes with two fist hands that were on him in the package. Next is two open posed hands, two gripping hands to hold the spear straight, and another pair of gripping hands to hold the spear at an angle. Here's the spear. I love the way this looks too. The sculpt is one thing, but the red details on the blade is great. It looks so good. Finally, a fire effect for the spear to make the spear look like it has fire on the blade. Stick it on the blade through the flame. Hard to get in all the way, so be careful not to break anything. Keep in mind, this effect makes the spear top heavy, and even with Vike holding it with two hands, it's still tricky to keep him standing and not have the flame tip everything over. So for displays, make sure you have a Tamashi stage handy to keep this figure held up. So I like the accessories. Now this is my fault for not playing the game that much, but I don't know what else can be included. Anyone else that does now, feel free to tell me in the comments. Here's a size comparison with other figures you may or may not own. Vike is a standard size figure arts, so having him in a general display won't be a problem, if you want him to have a display partner, since this is the only Elden Ring figure on the market. So if it wasn't obvious, yes, I think this is a good figure. It's absolutely not perfect and does have some problems, but positives here do outweigh the negatives. Articulation may seem off, but it's just something to get used to, so don't be afraid to fiddle with it to understand how it works. I would love to see more Elden Ring figures in the future, but if this is the only one, I think I'm satisfied. Just be wary of the $75 MSRP. $65 would have been acceptable, so $75 is pushing it. If you can't stomach it, then try to wait for a sale. That being said, Vike gets a 7.5 out of 10.